I'm going to talk to you about uh, the very strange concept of body and mind. How can these be connected to each other? And about, uh, for example, reincarnation. So, probably you remember how I explained that Riemann, Clifford and Einstein were of the idea that the dynamics of this universe, matter and energy, are just a way how the, the space and space elements are deformed, how the deformation of space-time could happen. Now space-time, I consider this to be a membrane, a non-breakable membrane. You cannot cut it, you cannot shear it in pieces, you cannot uh, scissor it, it just, you cannot break it because singularity, the basic idea, the basic energy that, that creates our universe, you cannot cut it because there is nothing else. Now I spoke, I showed you how peaks of a membrane can have interactions. So they can push away each other, but they also can, one can penetrate another one. So at that moment we have a very new concept. So the concept is that if the right conditions are there, if you have two membrane peaks and one is big enough, and one is small enough, and one has energy enough stored in the system, you can have a palustration. It's a penetration of one peak, the active peak, through a passive peak. At that moment, we create duality because we have combined now yang and yin together. I show you in this structure how it is. So here we have a big peak, and there is a smaller one that enters, but he will enter first in the first layer of the peak and then he will go to the second layer of the peak. So we have here that he enters into the system and he pushes away this one because he cannot break it. So the, this one here has a first cover and then he comes in contact with the second one, the second side of the, the big peak and he pushes away also that. Now he has three covers. In, to, in total, we have two covers of the first peak. So, in total, we have now three covers. Now, we can see this as the material structure. So, this is not a simple peak. This is already a home that has all kinds of material things in itself. So, now, when, for example, when we consider this to be also a home, a combination of different layers, uh, which has also sub inside itself, like memories, stores, stored like memories, like uh, conductors, batteries. And this enters into a body created by uh, the sperm and by the egg. You see here that this is a material structure. And this is a spiritual structure, so this is a spiritual hollow, this is a material hollow. And then when this enters, you have here now a union of a spirit and the body. Now this is an explanation in geometrical way how this can happen. Now you can consider this to be our body. Our body containing material elements, but also containing the spiritual holon on the inside. Now during life, these holons, when they reproduce material elements, when this is the egg, it will create sublayers between it to create a liver, to create the heart, to create the brain, the eyes, the legs, the spin, everything. It, it makes little holons, subholons inside the two material layers. But at the same time, this spirit has experience of the past, so it will influence by his subholons also the deployment or the possibilities how the internal organs of the cell can replicate. For example, this is like uh, being here a little knot, so the, the, the material, when the spirit has a little knot somewhere, 
combination a mini holon, a sub -holon. then it will create the influence how the body will be shaped because it's it's like a glove around the hand so you see this will cause vibrations inside but at the same time the spirit is still connected with the higher spiritual energies and the body is also connected with the material DNA structures which are created by the parents so at that moment now we have here a union of, of, of Hollands so this is a union but at the same time uh, other different types of energies are connected to the system so you, you can even see this as gravity gravity is uh, how space is entangled or knotted or added here we have a spiritual holon that is added to the material holon and they make a union but of course when we see this we think it's a unit it's me it's you so we act as a unit but at the same time we are a union of two different types of energy now reincarnation you can see this is when the body when the body is not sufficient anymore to, to keep itself uh, as a whole system for example a heart attack an accident then this dies so it, it starts to crumble and then the pressure that keeps them together leaves so at that moment the spirit goes out and you see here what we call the near-death experience of the tunnel when you see it like this when the spirit goes out it will have uh, sub who are broken these are like images and so from the moment you, this, this goes back you, you see back images what you have experienced during your life so we go back and this is the, the tunnel effect you see so here and it's like you go to a light and then the spirit is free again it's not longer connected with the material things but this spirit all, has also sub holons of his knowledge and so I show now uh, in a very simple way in a topological way, in a geometrical way how you can uh, analyze or how you can judge that mind and body are connected to each other how our spirit is connected to the body now from the moment reincarnation means that this holon with all his history stored in his sub holons will try to find a new body after a certain time and so the one day this, ho this spiritual holon finds a new egg that is fertilized and at that moment again you have the new process that the spirit enters into the system and makes a new being a new human which has again a material double layered system around him and where the spirit is inside and connected to each other and then they start again the process where endoderm, ectoderm and mesoderm the three basic layers of the cell are connected with the spirit and I do it in a geometrical way thank you